Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, welcome back to another episode of Legion's a Good Podcast, episode number three. This week, we are talking about AEW Dynamite. Winter is coming. Winter to come. Winter in Jacksonville, Florida. Guys, this show was great. Before we talk about the show, I got some news. I want to. I got some news about the future of the podcast. The number one, I have a buddy. Matter of fact, the guy I talk about every week, Dion, my buddy Deontay, Dion Wilder, Dion De La Cruz. He is making me an intro for my podcast. I'm no, I'm, I don't mean like the intro I have already, the Big Mike Legion Goods. Blah, 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 that's always gonna be there, but I mean I'm gonna have a legit intro music. And I tried, I tried making one myself. This is the Legion of Goods podcast with your host Big Mike's Entertainment. Back with another video. No, I can't. I'm not a rapper, guys. I'm horrible at singing. I'm not good at the mic. So my buddy Dion is making me a song. Number two news. I'm going to start having a uh, guest. Probably once a month I want to have a guest. So, I'm planning... I'm doing a... Re- uh, 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 prediction video for uh, Russell Kingdom. Me and my buddy DC, maybe my buddy Payment are going to have three of us. And we're going to do a prediction video. So, tune in for that. That might sound different than this. Because right here, I'm using my microphone, guys. I finally figured it out. So, this whole podcast will be recorded with my microphone. So, please tell me what you think. Alright? Tell me what you think. Because this is pretty goddamn cool. Alright? Alright. Number three, guys. Number three is I'm the best goddamn host on YouTube. Alright? This is the number one podcast. Alright? In my in my mind, it's the number one podcast. I never said where. I never said where it was number one. In my mind, in my heart, this is the number one podcast, guys. Before we start the show, before you get the intro, before you get the blah 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 blah, blah I have to talk about take ten seconds out of my day, take ten seconds out of my day and out of my podcast to talk. About Pat Patterson. Guys. Pat Patterson. Has passed away. A legend. Uh, an icon. One of the greatest. Sad, sad news. In the wrestling history. I want to take 10 seconds out of my day. To, to recognize. One of the greats. Thank you guys so much for recognizing Pat Patterson. Guys, I'm going to hit the intro music, guys. Hit the intro. Hit the intro, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the podcast you all been waiting for with that two minute intro. Here it is, the best host on the internet, Big Mike Entertainment, hosting the best podcast on the internet, Legions of Goons. Let's get in with AEW. Winter is coming. One of the best AEWs we've all seen in a very long time. Pause before we continue. Let me know how you guys think, how I did that little opening, that I have my intro, and I'll have the podcast. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm trying something new. I'm trying something different. I'm trying, to be, I'm trying to be unique. I'm trying to take this seriously. Guys, the show starts off with a battle royale. The last two to stand in that battle royal get a shot at the diamond ring. If you guys remember last year, our boy... Malcolm Jacob Freeman won it. All right, well, my one of my favorite wrestlers, MJF. He's great on the mic. He's great in the ring. He is part of the inner circle. We will talk more about that in just a second. MJF won last year, guys. 
goes back and forth. You have MJF. You have you have Big Boy, his security guy. I can't think of his name. Please forgive me. You got you got you got you got you got another one of my favorites, Sammy Guevara. You got them all in the match. You got three inner circle members going against all these other guys. Chaos goes out. People get tossed out. Left and right. Bob. This guy gets eliminated. Bob. That guy gets eliminated. Bob. Jungle Boy gets eliminated. Bob. Inter- uh, Dark Order gets eliminated. They throw. They throw. They throw Hangman Page out. Inter- uh, the the. They throw Hangman Page off the ring. Dark Order catches him to kind of tease that maybe maybe Hangman's gonna join Dark Order. He's been losing. He's been depressed. He's been in this dark. He's no longer part of the elite. He's been in a dark character. He might. They're teasing. They throw him back in the ring, and then once again they throw they throw Hangman out, and Hangman gets eliminated. Another guy gets eliminated. You have four guys left. You got you got MJF security guy once again. Sorry, can't think of, remember his name at the moment. You got you got Sammy Guevara. You got MJF. And then you got one more guy in the ring. I can't remember who it was. I can't remember who it was. Orange Cassidy was also still. But our Orange Cassidy was out the ring because he, he, he rolled under the ring because someone eliminated like Someone like grabbed him. You know how when they get mad, they get eliminated. They pulled his feet. They fought him outside the ring. So they all forgot he was in the ring. They all forgot he was still part of the match. They all forgot. They all forgot, guys. So remember that. So you got these three guys looking at each other like, what the heck? What, who do we eliminate it? And then there's a part where, 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 I'm getting this guy, I'm getting this wrong, guys. Forgive me. I'm, I, I'm getting this part wrong. I can't remember, but they had Sammy Guevara fighting someone on the top t- r- turnbuckle. And then Sammy, uh, MJF went to go push the other guy off, act like he was going to push him off, and that pushed Sammy and that guy off. So Sammy got mad. Sammy got pissed. And then they remember, they remember Warlow, that's his name. Warlow and MJF remember that there's one more guy, Orange Cassidy. They go out to get Orange Cassidy, throw Orange Cassidy back in the ring. But then Orange Cassidy fought back. Orange Cassidy fought back and eliminated Warlow, which means the last two people standing was Warlow and MJF. Guys, we will be seeing next week MJF versus... Orange Cassidy for the Diamond Ring. Great match. After the match, Kip Sabian and Miro come out and they attack Orange Cassidy and show cuts to a commercial. Then, next match, you got Chris Jericho versus Zarian. 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 Zarian and Jericho had... Zarian had Jericho with the walls of Jericho. Ortiz was going to hit Zarian with the sock. MJF came out and acted like he was going to throw in the towel until Sammy comes out and shoved MJF. He took the towel away from him. Jericho hits the Judas effect and beat Kazarian. Jericho thought Sammy was going to throw in the towel. MJF and Sammy start shoving each other. Warlow and Hager start as well. Jericho tells Inner Circle that they have a week to start working together or they're going to break up forever, 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 forever. Guys, as I said earlier, this is all part of the plan. Inner Circle has been unique. Inner Circle has been great. Inner Circle has been fun to watch, but guys... Inner Circle is over. Inner Circle is no longer going to be a thing. And this is all part of MJF's plan. He joins Inner Circle. He acts like he's part of them. He, he, but literally every week he does something to make Sammy Guevara mad. Forgot to email him about the Vegas trip. Uh, got him a too big too big of a shirt for the, the jackets. He brought everyone a jacket, but he got Sammy Guevara like a 4X. And every week there's something that always happens. This week, he pushed him off the Battle Royal purposely. Eliminated Sammy Guevara from the Royal Rumble. Made it look like an accident, but he did that shit on purpose. So next week, they're going to all fight again. Chris Jericho's going to say, it's done. We're over. We're done. Inner Circle's deleted. Then, you're going to have MJF go with this gimmick and be like, I'm the one who ended the Inner Circle. I am your hero. I am your saver. You will recognize me as Malcolm Jacob Freeman. All right, something like that. 
So then we have Sammy Guevara finally by himself. Guys, I cannot wait to see what he's capable of doing. I am so excited to see our boy, Sammy Guevara, finally by himself. If you guys disagree, fight me, bitch. All right. The Young Bucks challenge hybrid two next week. If TH2 wins, they'll get a title shot. A claim came up. And do a dis rap. Did a dis rap like the John Cena. The Bucks. T H. Okay. They did a rap battle. It was pretty funny because Jackson. One of the. I can't remember which one of those Nick or Matt. I can't tell those two apart all the time. Just, hate me. Hate me. I think it was Matt. And he said. Wasn't this gimmick done already? <laughs> Referring to John Cena. When he came out with the. Like with the. With the. The chain. And he was rapping. Against the Bucks. TH2 came out, attacked the Bucks from behind until SCU chasing them away. Brit Breaker versus Legit Layla. Brit Breaker beats Legit with the lock jaw. After the match, Thunder Rosa comes out and attacks Brit Breaker. Officials have to break it up back and forth. Boom, bob, bing, bob, bang. Brit Breaker's little girl starts attacking uh, Legit. Legit starts attacking her. And everyone's going, hey, ham, all these referees are coming out, the visitors are coming out, managers are coming out, trainers are coming out, everyone's coming out to stop the chaos. Guys, Cody Rhodes, Darby Allen, versus uh, Ricky Starks and Hobby, 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 Hobbs, Will Hobbs. Darby Allen hits the coffin drop on Ricky Starks and Cody. And Darby win the match. Hobbs attacks Darby after the match. Arn Anderson goes after Hobbs and takes out Starks. Hobbs and Starks gang up on Arn until Dustin comes out to help. Cage then comes out and attacks Dustin out of nowhere. And as they all start going back and forth, they all start getting the gang on Cody. They're all jumping Cody, kicking him. Blah, blah, blah. The lights go out. Winter Storm is showing on the tight run. The snow starts falling from the sky. Then you see Sting on the Titron. And then you see Sting come out with the trench coat. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. He looks straight to the middle of the ring. He pulls the bat out like the classic Sting we all love. And guys, Sting has finally, finally debuted on AEW. Guys, Sting has is back for the first time in 18 years. Stig is back on TNT. I will pop every goddamn day for Stig. I don't care if he's 50. I don't care if he's 60. He is motherfucking Stig. He is amazing. I honestly think we are going to see a Stig versus Cody or a Stig versus Darby. Not 100% sure. One match we'll get from Stig, and then he will most likely be Darby Darby Allen's manager. He will most likely be Darby Allen's manager, and I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I'm very, 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 very excited to see Darby Allen and Stig as a team, as a as a team, as a partnership. So look forward to that. Look for that oh big <laughs> guys 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 uh, did you watch aw if you guys have not watched aw please go back and at least watch the sting debut and this match omega versus john Motherfucking Moxley for the All Elite World Heavyweight Championship belt. Guys, this match was 10 out of 10. One of John Moxley's best matches I've seen in a very, 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 very long time. Omega took a paradigm shift in, in the floor. The match was tempor temporarily stopped because he hit his back on one of the heaters they had on Reekside because it was cold in Jacksonville. It was cold in Jacksonville, Florida. Match temporarily stopped. 
until Moxley said, nah, we ain't gonna stop this title match. We ain't gonna stop it. I ain't gonna win because you can't compete. He throws he throws Kenny Omega back in the ring. Don Collins had a mic. He, he went on top of the apron and said, he's hurt. He's hurt. He taps John Moxley on the shoulder. John Moxley hits him. John Moxley shoved Collins down to the ground. He busts his John Moxley open with... He bought... He... he Guys, I forgot to tell you guys. So he hits Collins down. Mike rolls over by Omega. The mic rolls. John, he down as he fell. He pushed the mic towards Kenny. Kenny picked the mic up and he mic checked John Moxley. One, two, Mike with the head. Bob. That's how it sounded. Sorry if that was loud. I just hit my mic to my head. So sorry if that was loud. John got busted open with that mic shot. Then he hits one. V trigger. John Moxley starts getting up just a little bit. Another V trigger. John gets up and he falls to the to the ropes because he's hurt. Kenny runs to the ropes and hits another V trigger. He just hit three V triggers. Kenny then John then, then falls towards the turnbuckle. He's sitting down all hurt. He's hitting his head and then you see you see you see Kenny go again and run for another V trigger. John. Then again, tries to get up, but as he's getting up, Kenny picks him up and hits the one-winged angel. He pins John Moxley. He pins John Moxley. The ref goes, one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Your winner and new Ali World Heavyweight Champion, Kenny Omega. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. The fans go wild. The the people go wild. Did Kenny Omega just turn heel? He grabs the belt. He runs up the ring. The, the cameraman follows him. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's jogging. Everyone's like, what the? What did you just do? What did you do? He's running. He dodges everyone. You have the young bucks in the background trying to talk to him. You have all these people trying to talk to him, but he just keeps on running. He keeps on running. Alex Marvez out of nowhere just runs up and says, Yo, what did you guys do? What did you guys do? What did you do? <laughs> Colin says, You'll get your answer next week on Tuesday. Marvez is like, What? Tuesday? Tuesday? <laughs> AEW's on Wednesdays. You, you gonna do this on dark? You gonna do this on dark? He's like, On Tuesday, TNA. Guys, Kenny Omega is going to TNA. They just told us TNA and AEW most likely are working t- together. We're going to have some great matches. And one of the matches I'm most excited for is Brian Myers, a.k.a. Kurt Hawkins, pop- going one-on-one with Sammy Guevara. There's just so much opportunity for this. So much opportunity. I am excited for this. I am excited. I cannot wait. And this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting, guys. I I love this show. I had fun with this podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is me being me. This is me being legit. If you guys liked it, before we end the show, before I give you guys my outro, I am going to do one last thing. And we are going to do a prediction in this video for next week. Next week, we got... MJF going one on one with Orange Cassidy for the diamond ring. You got Dustin Rhodes verse Ted. 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 Member of the Dark Order. You got Inner Circle Ultimatum. We're going to figure out what's going on with Inner Circle. You got FTR versus the Varsity Blades. Varsity Blondes. Griff Garrison and Brian. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. You have FTR versus Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. You have Abandoned in Action. Let's Archer versus the Lucha Bros versus Eddie Kingston and the Butcher of the Blade. And you have Sting, it's Sting Sparks segment. Or so, 
Stay, stays big. Sorry, sorry. Can't read my notes. <laughs> so, I think Orange Cassidy will beat MJF. I think they're going to put Orange Cassidy over. I think the Young Bucks will obviously beat the Hybrid. Either that or it'll be uh, it'll be uh, disqualification with the SU running in and attacking Hybrid. Dustin Rhodes will beat Ted. Inner Circle, we're going to break up. I already told you guys that. FTR will be will beat Griff Garrison and Brian, Brian Pillman Jr. Not sure who they're, the man in is fighting or whatever their name is. Sorry for botching that. Lance Archer and the Lucha Bros will probably... Lance Archer and the Lucha Bros will beat Eddie Kingston and the Butcher of the Blood. And I'm excited to see Sting vs. Sparks. Guys, that is my intro. All right, that is my show. That is my podcast. I apologize for only being 16 minutes long, but guys, it's a two-hour show, and, I, and I'm not... I figured how I used to do it before, how I used to literally try to call match per match per match, and it would be like a 20, 30-minute podcast of me butchering all these different names. And I, I did pretty well tonight, I think. I'm very excited about this podcast. I'm very, very excited for this one. Tell me what you guys think how I did this. So I have the I have the opening where I talk about everything. Then I have the break where I have my intro. And then I have the actual show. And then at the end you'll have my outro. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, rest in peace to Pat Patterson. My links to my social media will be in the description. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you're not following me, what the fuck are you doing? My YouTube. If you guys aren't subscribed, what the fuck are you guys doing? Side note, I'm going to start recording my gameplay of Last of Us 2. I want to buy a camera for my PS4 and set that shit up and record my gameplay. Cause I feel I think it'll be funny if I, get a, if I get a pop scare, I get a jump scare, and I get freaked out. Then I will have that reaction. I will have that on camera. And I feel, I feel like people will be funny. Watching a fat man get scared of a fucking game. What's not better than that? That's content, boys. My buddy Dion, like I said, he's making my intro, my actual intro music. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna hopefully he gets on that fast. Cause I really want to maybe have that by next week. We'll see. My buddy DC every month. He, I told you guys last time. Yeah, literally two days ago, I talked about my, I talked to my buddy, and I said I'll have all these in the, the, the link. I did not put it in the link. I totally forgot. I will do that today. Cause I'm literally gonna after I'm done with this, I'm gonna get a, go get something to eat, take a ten minute break, and then post everything so it'll be on spotify first and it'll be on youtube after well, wherever you guys are watching me on if it's on if it's on youtube if it's if it's my 10 minute if it's my 10 second clip on instagram if it's my google podcast if it's apple music if it's or apple podcast not apple music sorry if it's youtube if it's whatever i appreciate all you guys you guys are fucking amazing i get like i mean listen I get like six, as of right now, I got like six steady followers who listen to my podcast every week. I don't care if you guys are all my friends. I don't care if every single one of you that are listening right now. Yo, DC, shout out. Dion, shout out. Payment, shout out. Rick, shout out. Big L, shout out. If you guys are listening to my podcast, I appreciate you. I don't care if you're my friend or not. I love you tuning in every week especially Jordan aka his twitch will be in the channel in the links in the description as well if you're listening to this podcast as well Jordan you don't even like wrestling so fucking shout out to you you a real one John same thing to you if you're listening you don't even like wrestling shout out to you like I have some real friends who I who I really appreciate who who will share my pod like guys share this like I here's the thing I see all my buddies watching it I don't see you sharing it. I don't see you sharing it. Come on, guys. Share it. Share it. But my buddy Dion's music will be in the link. My buddy's manga will be in the link. My, everything in my, I just talked about will be in the link. I think that's it, guys. I think I'm done here. I think I'm done recording this podcast. Thank you so much. 20 minutes long. Not bad. I will be posting next Thursday. As well. 
Yeah, next week I work all, like, every, I, I have Monday off, but I work Monday, I work Tuesday, I work Wednesday, I work Thursday, I work Friday. So if I will most likely record Thursday, or I have to work, I'll record. I'll come home, I'll record right away. And then I'll have it uploaded Thursday. It probably will be uploaded later to later that night. So probably like 5 p.m. So just so you guys know, Thursday, five, planning around 5 to 6 p.m., 7 p.m. the latest. No, we'll say 8 p.m. the latest. I'll be in bed by like 9. So 8 p.m. the latest. I'll post Thursday. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys all. I'll see you all next week. Thank you guys so much for being here. And follow me and everything. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah. so icy, wonder why she like me, bitch, I'm drowning. I'm